Screaming fans got to see and hear from some of their favorite players at the Super Bowl's opening night festivities. Among them, Steve and Casey, who may also be screaming themselves because they're so excited to be oh, there. Word. Right, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah, we are. Ah! <laughs> we, uh, we are having a great time. And <laughs> okay, we'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we were at opening night, though, Steve, and this was interesting because it was really um, kind of, I guess, the first night that the NFL had done this. It's usually you got just media night, but they let all the fans in. I um, want to show you the scene at Allegiant Stadium. Take a look. Uh, we were there last night. It was pretty rainy on our way in. Mm -hmm. The rain kind of subsided, but that is such a beautiful, beautiful venue. It's absolutely massive and then we get inside um, the fans started trickling in they had all the players lined up I wasn't sure how many people were going to show up to something like that it was packed. by the end of the night it, it was, was packed. absolutely <laughs> packed so a uh, really cool experience we as you as we showed you earlier we got to talk to Patrick Mahomes mm -hmm. there was uh, all the other players for each team lined up we had to jam in there and it was no small feat Steve getting in there that's <laughs> true that's true Just, um, and once you're in you're locked in yeah right. you are as we found out it was really my first experience and it was so cool to be there so cool to win witness that but I also we, we also wanted to talk to some of the fans so mm -hmm. on our way out I was able to I threw my Steve I threw the microphone <laughs> up to this guy uh, and take a listen uh, he has a pretty strong opinion and remember we're in Vegas so people have money on this game uh, here's what he had to say shout out to Hawaii aloha listen this is my man right here but check this out I got 20 bands on the Chiefs 20,000 on the Chiefs baby he got the 49, I got the Chiefs, baby. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? All day long, all day strong. <laughs> I love, whoa, I love that. whoa. Yeah, you I, I hope he checked with the wife you know on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the cool thing. We were able to uh, to talk to some of those fans there. It, it was a good mix of Niners and Chiefs yes. fans. That guy said, hey, no matter what, even though I got <laughs> 20 grand, this guy's my brother. But but when it comes to the game, I've made my pick. So we already heard from uh, Ma'a uh, Tanuvasa, yes. uh, his pick. Again, you, you're kind of leaning the same way. It might be a Chiefs game. Yeah, again, not rooting for the Chiefs yes, necessarily. Yes, yes. But yeah. I kind of think that they're the stronger team at this point. We'll see. Look, coming up a little bit later today, we're talking to Jesse Sopolu, mm -hmm. four-time Super Bowl champion. Going to get maybe his take is to see what, what could transpire coming up on Sunday. But also in the next hour yeah. here on Sunrise, because we're here in the California Hotel, we wanted to see what's new on these properties, of course, with Fremont and Main Street as well, but also the connection, because you noticed it as well, Casey, the connection that we have, the California Hotel and the people of Hawaii, that's uh, it's been going on for decades, and we'll see how it all got started. Yeah. Yeah. Check in a little bit later, Chris. You feeling inspired at all to make any big bets after that guy? But twenty thousand dollars down on the team. Well, I, I know. I just I checked know. my bank account, so no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to Venmo me some money over here. I'll hit the craps table, and we'll see what we can do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good job, guys. We'll see you in just a little bit.